In the complex world of teenage dating, there's no greater wingman than oxytocin. Navigating the romantic landscape is difficult at any age, never mind if you're a teenager. It can be scary, awkward and painful with complex rules to learn if we're going to be successful and so we need to be specifically motivated to do that if our species will survive. That's where oxytocin and other hormones come in. Along with vasopressin, dopamine, serotonin and cortisol, these hormones spike during puberty and especially when we see or get close to a potential love interest. Oxytocin also spikes during childbirth, making mothers feel attached to their newborn babies and is present throughout the animal kingdom. It gives you a warm, content, toasty feeling like you're with or around people that you really care about. Not only that, but Schneiderman and colleagues found that if someone had higher oxytocin levels at the start of the relationship, they'd be more likely to have a partner that would reciprocate their efforts and still be together at six months. Are you in need of